welcome back to the departure brief. We are in Delhi in India and we're going to show you eight cool things that you can do on your own trip. Let's go. Stop number one is Agrasen Kibauli, a 14th century step well that is absolutely free to visit and mightily impressive. Humayun's tomb. It costs 600 rupees to come in here if you're a foreigner or 550 rupees if you pay by card. Pro tip, come in the early morning. We got here at 7.30 a.m. and we are one of the only people here and there is a beautiful morning light that goes across the whole complex. When you visit the spice market, keep an eye out for this hidden stairwell to go to the upper levels. It's pretty cool up here. No trip to India is complete without seeing India Gate. Isn't it a sight to behold? Unfortunately, when we visited, it was closed, but we did get to see this epic traffic cop. Look at his uniform. Another stop for your Delhi itinerary has to be Old Delhi. We are just walking down the main street of it now, and it is absolutely chaotic in the best possible way. <laughs> So most sections of Old Delhi are sectioned off, so there's a lady section, there's a candle section, there is a street food section. The trick is finding what you want in amongst all the droves of people. Right now we're trying to find a Christmas decoration for Jamie Lee. We're heading to the lady part of it, the part where the ladies come and they get the ingredients, no, the, the raw materials for their wedding dresses. And then they'll take those materials to their tailor and have their wedding dress made. We've got to find that section. Wish us luck. Yeah, I like it. Trying to use Google Maps in the old in old Delhi is quite challenging. Another essential stop in Delhi is the Red Fort. Again, unfortunately, it was closed due to a public holiday when we visited. We had to look from the outside. Matia Mahal Road is the place to be if you want to have meat in Delhi. One final stop is Main Bazaar Road, great for shopping. You can visit at night time or during the day. 